Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Love in a Tin Can, where we show you how we live our tiny lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching the video today. Today's video is going to be all about our tiny kitchen. I'm going to insert the square footage of our Airstream kitchen in here right now somewhere um, because it is very small, but it is super practical, functional, and I just love the way that it looks these days. I have been putting off this video for a while because I just was like waiting for it to look perfect. Um, which is something that I'm just trying to get over. So I'm just gonna show you how it is right now. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you do. One quick note before we get into the video. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video from us. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna start on this side of the kitchen. This is the left side of our kitchen when you walk in. I really like the way that this side looks. So up top we've got all of our like cups. We love drinking coffee and tea so we've got all of our coffee mugs and our things to steep tea. We also have like a like a mini bar kind of like <laughs> our stuff that we like to make mixed drinks with. And then the countertop on this side is the same as the other side as well as the faces of these drawers. It's all that same wood from Clint's grandfather. We also used some of that wood to make like a little cover for the sink so that we can just cover it up and I think it looks prettier with uh, the cover on top. We also have a little dish rack here that can be folded up against the wall. We always have a huge bowl of fruit out, sometimes two huge bowls of fruit. Down here this is where we keep all of our like cleaning products. My Instant Pot is down there, dish scrubbers, emergency items. We keep all that stuff down there. If you guys want to know what kind of products that we use in the house, like soaps, cleaners, and stuff like that, just let me know down in the comments. This is our oven that we use. If you go back to one of our old tour videos, you'd see that we'd have this big stove that used to be right here. Um, and I don't know, it just took up so much space and we didn't have a lot of counter space as it was. So we got rid of that and we ended up switching it out for this convection oven. I wasn't sure how that was going to go because again I really love cooking and I just wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be limited in any way. But I've been able to fit an entire pizza, like a big pizza, and I've also been able to fit a whole turkey. It was a smaller turkey, but I fit a whole turkey in here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been great. I don't have any problems at all with this oven. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box if you guys are looking for one too. Okay, moving on to the drawers. I don't know why, this is actually one of my favorite parts of our kitchen, but I'll give you a close up look too. In these drawers, we house most of our uh, canned goods, um, some snacks in here, some oils and stuff like that. This entire thing is just full of chocolate, all different kinds of chocolate, which is wonderful. The next drawer I really like too. I think it's just because I like aesthetically pleasing things, like even if it's not that big of a deal, but I'll give you another close up on this too. We eat highly plant-based, not completely vegan or anything, but we do eat a lot of fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, stuff like that. So this entire drawer is just full of like lentils, nuts, seeds, uh, different kinds of flour. We got wild rice in there, ground flax. I mean everything. We've got so much stuff in here. I don't know. That's just one of my favorite parts of the kitchen. <laughs> so when you first walk in, you'd see that there's the fridge. We put a like wooden frame around the fridge so that we could put kind of like an extended pantry on the top. So we've got a, just like a ton of dried goods, dried beans, flour, rice, quinoa, stuff like that. And then our fridge itself, I'll put the exact fridge down in the description box if it's still available. I love this size fridge. It's basically an apartment size fridge. Before we had like a much smaller one, I think it was only like up to here and the freezer was so small. <laughs> this one is so much better. I do go grocery shopping like once a week now, and uh, yeah, it works perfectly for us. I don't really want to show you the inside of my fridge because it's really just like stuffed right now. <laughs> just giving you a heads up, you're probably gonna hear my rooster. He's super loud, super annoying, and he always starts at the most inconvenient times, so. <laughs> anyway, here is the counter space uh, area. This is actually where we do our cooking. We have like a little um, stove top that we bring out. There he goes. <laughs> anyway, this is where we do our cooking. I consider this to be part of like our pantry as well, kind of, because it's stuff that I use all the time. Nuts, seeds, nutritional yeast, some uh, matcha powder, stuff like that. And uh, I can just grab it real quick and add it to 
our food. I like having all this stuff out in the open because it just adds like a little pop of color to the kitchen and I like having my ingredients on display. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things in the kitchen. This is something that my husband Clint made. He took part of a tree stump, cut it down, sanded it, and then covered it in epoxy and it looks so pretty. There's actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole here um, that he put epoxy in as well. It's so like part of it that was rotten and it just looks so cool. I really, really love this. Some of the stuff that we cook from getting on the wall, it kind of blocks that too, so it's like dual purpose. We also have our coffee maker here. We've got um, just like a couple utensils that we use all the time. I keep them in like a little mason jar right there and then our cutting board, of course. Up above we just have some open shelving, not really a lot of dishes. And then on the left side we've got uh, just a little mirror from Target and then I've got uh, a picture of our first look before we got married. Now we're going to look into our drawers here. This is just where we keep our silverware, all of our utensils for cooking. Um, foil, stuff like that is at the end there and yeah, it's just not really that exciting. Underneath the cabinets we have all of my cookingware. I don't know how well you know this on YouTube, but on Instagram I show you guys all the time that I love to cook and I was a little bit worried if we were going to be able to fit all the stuff that I would want to have for cooking. <laughs> But it worked great. Like I even have appliances. I have my waffle maker, I've got my little scale for cooking, I've got a rice cooker, and then not pictured in here I also have a blender, a juicer, a food processor, and some other stuff. An Instapot. Um, so I've got everything that I need. And then just down there I have some Tupperware. If you guys have been here a really long time then you'll remember when we put these in. Everybody said that I was like Vanna White just like showing things off and stuff. but. This is our pantry, this is the pull-out pantry, keep all of our spices in here, that's another one, and then the last one is just our trash can. Super simple. Quick note before I go, if you guys like the style of this video and you want to see something similar, like a bathroom tour, a bedroom, living room, or stuff outside like with the garden, or if you want to know more about like our eating, stuff that we have in the pantry all the time, please be sure to let me know in the comments and I will definitely give it some thought. I hope I covered everything in this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like because it really supports us. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!